If you've been following FF7 Remake news for a bit now, outside of updates surrounding the project itself, you may be aware of the Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra World Tour, where there will be a concert presented by AWR Music Productions in multiple places all around the world to play some of the music from the OST of Final Fantasy VII Remake. The first of many of these will be happening later this week on February 13th in Kyoto, Japan, in a live stream exclusive to citizens of Japan. Of course, this is pretty exciting for a lot of people who were able to watch it, but there's of course been the age-old question. Could there be an announcement of some kind? It isn't unlike Square to reveal stuff during concerts for their games, and especially Nomura-led projects. In the last few days, that speculation has grown wildly, with Square teasing and hyping up the orchestra on their Square Enix Music Twitter page every single day so far, with a new video from a developer on the remake. Due to this, however, there's also been some misinformation being thrown around as well, with many people saying there is 100% no doubt about a confirmation of something at the orchestra. I don't want to just go over some of these videos today from their Twitter page, but I'd like to clear up some of the misinformation that's being spread around and correct those as well. Also, just as a heads up, any of the translations from this recently, whether it be the videos on the Square Enix Music Twitter account or in simple tweets come from Audrey on Twitter. I'll be leaving a link down below to her Twitter and seriously go give her a follow. She deserves a lot of praise for all the translations she does. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's start off with the timeline leading up to the main speculation. The Square Enix Music Twitter account had posted a video of FF7 Remake producer Yoshinori Kitase. Really, the video itself wasn't much other than Kitase hyping up the concert and letting people know that he'll be watching it from home. However, there are a few smaller things to point out. First off, there's actually a brief moment where the scene where Zack appears is shown. I believe this is the first time since the final trailer where Zack has been referenced in any promotional material, so I felt that was worth pointing out. Secondly, and I'm only really bringing this up because I feel like some people would be confused if I didn't, and that's that Katase has his PC running in the background with ending clips and intro clips from FF7 Remake on his monitors. I know there's been some speculation that this could mean something like a PC version of FF7 Remake, but I'm more 50-50 on this being an actual teaser for it. I do think it'll happen, I just don't think this is a direct teaser for it. It should be noted that the Katase will actually be at the concert itself with the video, this being one of the things that really ramped up speculation about a possible announcement at the concert. I'm not holding my breath just yet, but I do think it's actually possible. We'll have more to talk about this later though, so we'll save it for there. On February 7th, we got yet another video, this time from music supervisor Kawamori. In all honesty, this doesn't really seem to have that much to talk about in relation to it. From what I can tell, he seems to be doing something very similar to Katase, which is just hyping up the event. On February 8th, however, we got something very interesting. On February 8th, the Twitter account had posted yet another video, this time from co-director Toriyama. For the most part, it was roughly about the same beat, him hyping up the concert and the like, but there's a very interesting section in here. To quote, In addition to the performance, we have a special program planned as well. There will be a few things about FF7R that will be revealed only during this concert. I will take part in this program, so please tune in. According to Audrey, Toriyama wasn't originally slated to make an appearance, so this is very interesting and has caused quite a bit of speculation. The main one being that this confirms some sort of announcement from Toriyama. However, I do want to clear something up. I think due to some of Audrey's tweets being taken out of context and just general misinformation, there have been many articles and just general ideas that this video confirms something's going to be revealed later this week, and the video from Toriyama confirms that. I want to stress, this is not true. What he's saying here is that he'll simply be discussing FF7 Remake during the stream in some capacity. Considering it's a concert, he could be referring to the making of the music or the developmental process behind the remake or so on and so forth. So yeah, this doesn't really confirm that there's an announcement of any kind from this video. I just wanted to clear that up. If there is an announcement at least, it's not going to be from Toriyama. That doesn't stop journalists, though. That was really the big thing I wanted to clear up. There is no official confirmation as of yet that there's going to be an announcement at the concert. Toriyama is simply stating that he'll be talking about it. That's all. Like I said prior, though, the Square Enix Music account is having a new video every day up until the actual concert itself. But currently, there's nothing about Tetsuya Nomura making an appearance. If one of these videos features Nomura, I think that in of itself confirms something of the like. If Nomura makes an appearance, I think something will get announced. If not, I could see this just being a bit smaller, where the devs just talking about the developmental process behind the remake. The next video we have is a video from sound director Issei, where he says, quote, Listening to the concert's versions of the songs in FF7R with a full orchestra and chorus will give you a different feeling of the scenes compared to when you played them in the game. This honestly sounds awesome. Remake soundtrack is easily one of my favorite video game OSTs in recent memory, so to think about hearing this in a full live orchestra really sounds incredible. On February 10th, we got another video, this time from orchestra conductor Sasaki. Nothing much more than him hyping up the concert, and saying that all the songs that will be played sound awesome and will make you cry. The final video we have at the moment is from Survive Said the Prophet's vocalist Yash, who had provided the vocals for the main theme of FF7R, Hollow. He says that they finished rehearsals, and that this will be his first time singing alongside an orchestra. He hopes to bring his rock side to the concert. I still find a Hollow to be an absolutely beautiful main theme. The idea of hearing it live really does sound amazing. God, Japan, why do you have to be so far? And with that said, that's all the videos at the moment. I do want to talk about something, though. If there is something that does get revealed, what do I think it could be? 
I know there's been some speculation that this could be part two, however, I think it's still a bit too early to get any sort of teaser for it. Part two, I still think is quite a few years off, and considering we're still in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, I think it's going to be a good bit longer until we can get anything notable. The main thing that I'm expecting, if there is going to be any announcement of any kind, is an announcement of a definitive edition. With the one year exclusivity close to wrapping up, I think it's possible that a PC version as well as a version for next gen consoles could be announced here. At least I think that's the most believable. Now, what would I want if this was the case? Personally, there's a few things. Of course, the quality of life updates, faster low times, 60 FPS, an actual texture instead of Play-Doh, things like that I think are to be expected. However, personally, I'm holding out hope for that Tifa section that was cut to see the light of day. If you aren't aware, there was a whole section where you would play as Tifa in between Cloud falling to the Sector 5 slums and Cloud and Tifa meeting outside the gates of Sector 7. You'd see more of Avalanche, actually see their base underneath 7th Heaven, hear more about the uncertainty in Sector 7 about the plate, interact with Barrett and Marlene more, and Tifa and Marl even will get to pick out a dress that would appear during the wall market stuff. I want to see the Seed the Light of Day so badly, I think it's such an awesome idea. Even though I am more 50-50 on this one, I still hold out hope for this. Though my main worry for this type of new addition is the price point. I'm really hoping that, if it's just the quality of life stuff, that it's a free upgrade if you already own it on PS4. If there's new story content, I feel they should make the quality of life stuff still free, but maybe have players pay 10 or so dollars for the new story content depending on how much is in it, if there is any. But hey, the concert is going live in a few days, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So, that said, are you hoping for any sort of announcement at the concert? If so, what are you hoping to see? Let me know down below. Thank you all very much for watching, have a great night, stay safe, and signing off. Peace out everyone!